Hey everybody, Seth Campbell here with the new Segway Says Podcast. Well, this is the first one of the new year, 2015, and so I'm going to do one I've had around for a while, uh, but haven't gotten around to for some reason in the podcast yet, and it's two songs from very different sources. The first song is called The End of the Game by a band called the Courage Brothers, which you may not have heard of, but you may well have heard of their frontman, Todd Tebow, who's gone on to a very successful solo career, but the Courage Brothers were his... Uh, band initially. And the second song is a traditional Irish song called The Homes of Donegal. It's been done in many different ways, but the, the version I'm basing this segue on is the version by Celtic Thunder. Now, these two songs are similar in feel even when played um, either on piano or guitar. I'm doing it on piano. But I encourage you to listen to the original recordings of these two songs. The End of the Game is on the Courage Brothers album Wood, W-O-O-D, and Homes of Donegal is the first song on Take Me Home, the Celtic Thunder album from, I want to say, 2010. Because the instrumentation of these recordings is very similar in between the uh, guitars and the backing organ and the riffs being played. And that's how I came up with these in the first place. So I'm going to do my best to replicate it just on solo piano. Now, this is going to involve an interesting modulation technique that I like to use because end of the game is in G flat or F sharp, and Holmes of Donegal is in G. Now, I know you're thinking, wouldn't it be easier just to modulate one into G? Well, you could, but there's also a dramatic effect you can use to achieve the modulation and make it clear that you're in a new song. Now I'm going to give you um, just a, a verse chorus of uh, end of the game here. This is uh, someone using the sink in the kitchen, not sure who that is. And it's, it's a wonderful song, and I, I fully encourage you to, to look up the album, because the whole album is amazing songwriting, uh, but this is probably one of my favorites. Now, Homes of Donegal, as I said, it's a half step up, and it's a verse refrain as opposed to a verse chorus, and I'm going to give you the, um, the second verse, because there's a little bit of a variation in it that's more similar to End of the Game, I think. Small, but your heart's alive in the 
mountain sides in the homes of Donegal. As you can hear, the, the harmonic rhythm is very similar, the chord structure where the melody is placed. There's a lot of similarity between the two. And there's lots of different small pieces within the song, the bridge of End of the Game, for example, that have similar uh, walk-down patterns as Holmes of Donegal does. There's, um... Thinking about something I feel in a Verse, but as you can see, there's a similar sort of walk down pattern used in both songs as well. So, the question now, of course, is how to get from one key to the next. And the technique I use here is used in a lot of musical theater type of type of type of shows, because the um, I'm going to get technical here for a minute. The root note of the one chord of the first key is the same note as the leading tone of the five chord of the key that's a half step up. And we, we've talked briefly in these podcasts before uh, how, you know, the five chord leads to the one. So if you go from, and you really, em from this is your first key, and you really emphasize this note, it really doesn't seem that crazy a leap to make because you're using the commonality going from the root note to the leading tone being the same note, and then you just do the 5-1, and voila, you're in a key a half step ahead, uh, a half step above, excuse me. So, you play through end of the game, and the interesting thing is that both these songs kind of vamp on the riff at the end, and have very similar vocal improvisation. End of the game. Game. End of the game. Whoa. And Holmes of Donegal, oddly enough, it ends with this. Uh... Another similarity I noticed that brought on this segue. So, anyway, you're finishing end of the game. End of the game. End of the game. forgotten you were in a very different key just a few seconds ago. Now the fun thing you can do at the very end of Holmes of Donegal is remember how similar these riffs are. You can do, you can throw in a chorus of end of the game in the new key. So it's a, a bit of a different feel to it, but it returns to where you came from. So you have the, you know, whoa, 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 Donegal. Queen of all. Donnie Go, Queen of all. You know I tried once, I saw it coming, I tried twice and it ended. 
been the same and then three strikes and you're out of the running you're standing alone to the end of the game the end of the game the end of the game Of course, that's a completely optional tag on. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But that's a fun little thing I like to do. As you know, I like to get back into the first song when it feels appropriate. And in this case, it definitely does. So that's this week's podcast uh, to start off the new year. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next week.